What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a full breakdown and walkthrough of how to do the many seasons method. This method is going to give you unlimited packs and unlimited stubs and a way to make a lot of XP. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content and the simple breakdown, drop a thumbs up on the video, fight the algorithm, let's get into the breakdown. If you want to complete every collection super, super fast, head over to my sponsor and use code FAT for 5% off your order. Super fast and reliable. All right, so the first and number one important step is to make sure if you are on next gen consoles is to use a created stadium whether you use pxp on mars or you use blank canvas okay if you are on old gen you want to be using cores fill for max elevation in the mlb once you get the stadium downloaded which is easy you just go to the vault and you go in like you're going to create a stadium and you download it if you have any questions make sure you let me know in the comment section to get your mini seasons to work if you're having any trouble all you want to do is push x or square depending on your console and start a new season then power down your game and turn your game back on there might be some kind of error that pops up but you just go ahead and it will eventually let you in okay so once you are in mini seasons with your team you want to always try to be the home team and you want to try to get 10 runs so that's where the creative stadiums come in now the teams that you want to face is the lords or any other team besides the whales and the cats if you face the whales and the cats it's going to make the process a little bit more difficult with the 99 overall randy johnson and a lot of good players okay so the cats and the whales are the two teams that you don't want to face now to find out if you are home in a way, as you can see, underneath this next game, it just says verse the Lords or verse the team. Now, if it has a at next to it, it says at this team and at that team, that means you are at their home, okay? So this is home, this is home. Sometimes you have to reset the season over and over and over to get it. Now, it don't matter the difficulty. If you play on veteran, you might get a little bit more XP but you're gonna be getting free unlimited stubs and you're gonna be getting free unlimited packs. This process is to keep the market at a decent price if you need certain cards to finish collections. But once you enter into the game, okay, you might get an error message every once in a while. Don't worry about that. You could just go ahead and enter into a new season. After you get your 10 runs, you can quit out of the game as soon as you hit 10 runs and then you can refresh the season and do it over and over again. As you can see, I have the created stadium PXP on Mars. You can see it right there in the left corner. This stadium, if the ball bounces over the fence, you have a great chance at getting inside the park home runs, even if you have 40 or 50 speed players. Now, when you are picking your starting pitcher, make sure that you come down to number four or below. So I will come down here to him, there's my lineup, I will lock my lineup in, and then you're gonna get into the game, okay? You still have to put the PCI on the ball, but we are facing a 90 overall pitcher, which is way easier to hit compared to a 98 or 99 overall pitcher with outlier, okay? So once we get some runs, then I'll fast forward to that part of the video, and I'll see y'all there. So once you get to this point right here, since you are the home team, uh, once they get up the bat, you will want to walk as many runners as possible if you don't get another chance. So right now I'm up seven to two. So one home run will give me my 10 runs. Okay. So if you don't get it, you're going to want to intentionally walk the side until they tie the game. So to intentional walk is very easy. All you're going to do is push L1 or LB and then you're going to push B on the joystick it's going to say do you want to walk the better it's just like the method from last year you're going to walk all the runners in until the game is either close or tied then you're going to retire the side that's going to help push you to the bottom of the third inning and it's going to give you that extra bet so you don't have to exit out of the game if you only get seven runs or six runs instead of the 10 
runs. We need to make good contact with this ball right here. We go up and get that one right there. It's a base hit down the line, 63 speed, rounds third base, goes in the score. Now we have one runner on and all we need is a double or a home run right here. So here we go with Nick Swisher coming up. I went out and chased that last ball. He's not throwing it down the middle. There's a pitch right there that I could have drove over the fence right there, but we're gonna hope for one a little better, closer in the zone right here. Hopefully not a breaking ball. There's an outside pitch. He thinks I'm gonna steal nine to 10 ball game right here. All we need is a meatball down the middle or in the zone right here so we can drive it and hurry up and finish this mission. Outside again, two and one pitch right here. Now we're waiting for our pitch. He has to come in the strike zone eventually. Okay, so you gotta be waiting on it. There it goes, and we drive it for the bomb right there. That's gonna give us over the 10 runs, and the mission is complete. Then you're just gonna start the new season, make sure that that run comes in right there, and that is how you do it over and over and over. Just listen to some music, watch your favorite streamer, have a YouTube video on. Before you knew it, you've been to went through this six to seven different times, stacked up some free stubs, stacked up some packs. You might pull a Acuna, you might pull a Trout, you might pull some glitchy out of it. So just doing this free method, take advantage of it. This is a full, breakdown make sure that if you are on old gen you're using course field so the ball can travel if you on new gen make sure that you are using pxp on mars or blank canvas it's all love i love y'all let's get it